Well, that looks like a bottom of a door. Or the skin of a door. Where's the rest? Huh. There it is. I didn't uh, show replacing this piece on the bottom, but uh, you know, let you see it now. It's uh, in place, and you can see I got my rocker on there. I had to put it on to size the door up, right? Make sure that that bottom piece was in the correct spot. And so, mounted the door back up with that piece, this bottom, just tacked a couple small tacks just to hold it in place. And uh, then I took them, lined it up, and yes, we got a perfectly good line right underneath the bottom with, oh, I don't know, probably a quarter inch gap, which is great because you've got your skin that wraps around the bottom of this. And so that'll take at least an eighth of an inch. And uh, so now I've got some repairs to do on the top of the skin here. And... Um, I had a dent right here that went down in and pushed this whole thing down. It's still down in there. I've got to keep working it, but I need to get the paint off right now. Um, the door handle area, this is the driver's door. Um, it is pretty whooped. It's been, I would say it was hit at one time and just smashed the whole handle down, you know. Crunched it or broke it and someone is... Either brazed it or welded it, and uh, I'm going to take this ferrule out. That's going to be replaced. But I can't get at it from the back side because of the frame member there. And uh, so what we're going to do is a little surgery. I'm just going to cut a piece out like this and put new in. And I get the hole lined up and everything, and you know, you got the hole there. So we'll get that done. But you can see the rest of it is cruddy right now. I have not even started wire wheeling anything. It's a messy job. But uh, one good thing with this paint that I use, you don't have to have your metal real super clean. Uh, in fact, they even Rick say that you don't have to clean it at all. This KBS paint, which is like poor 15. It's, I think it's, it's identical. Uh, KBS is maybe a little bit cheaper. <laughs> Not when I say cheaper, a dollar to a can maybe. It's just, I chose to go with KBS instead of poor 15. Uh, but anyway, I've been working this with a hammer and dolly because it was really punched in a bunch and I brought it out, but it's still got a dip in it. But I thought I'll take the paint off. I'll show you what I'm using to take the paint off with is this purple scrubber pad. I don't know what they call them, but I'll show you what it does. It's kind of loud here. See, that is just the greatest thing for paint removal. And I would say that there is three coats. I don't know. I'm looking at that paint a little bit. I don't know. There's looks like a, a, a um, red primer, a black primer, and then a silver over the top of that. And um, so I don't know. I know that's wasn't original. So maybe it was the, the original primer was the uh, red primer and uh, somebody decided to repaint it. So they put black over it, which is fine. And then they painted it silver. But it's all, you can see it, it's just, it's a great patina truck. If you're into patina, buddy, this is the truck for you, but it's not for me. <laughs> 
I'm old school. Old school, it's like you make them, you fix them up, make them look pretty. That's what it's all about. Anyway, that's where we're at on the door. I'll bring you back. Uh, I set, let me show you the new skin on it. And again, we're right back to where we were at before with the big warp in it. And uh, let me see if we get it situated here. But you can see, look at that. That's just crazy. You know, I tried to, I, I don't know how I was thinking. I tried to shrink it, but it's like it's not it, shrinking it either bends it this way or that way, you know. And it's like I was trying to flatten it out, and it's like, no, nah, well, that ain't going to work. I'm going to be cutting this uh, area off anyway because I'll show you. This is the complete skin here. And uh, let me see if I can get it. Here, see how high up it comes. I can get her down on top of everything. But you can see it doesn't line up, first of all, with your body line. And uh, let's see if it's, it's not all the way up there, I guess. Our new one hand in here. Anyway, that's what I'm talking about. That's the same problem that I had with the other door. So, like I said, this line that was that I made with that stretcher, I think that's the line we're going to use, and I'm going to cut through, and I'll cut through this existing skin at the same time. That way, my lines will match up, and. Uh, but I don't know, man. It's like, what do you do? You know, I, I, my, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to start in the middle. And I'll just keep working my way this way and a little bit this way and a little bit this way and a little bit. I, that's all I can figure. And the last time I started like over here, went over and now I had a real big hump here. And that was a mess. So that's the goal anyway. Looks kind of cool. Didn't have a big old hump in it and be great. Starting to get some flash rusting on it already. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, that's where we're at. And I'll bring you back when we get more. Well, I done did, done did it. Cut the hole. Get all the paint off. And uh, I think before I weld this in, I'm going to slop some... ABS, it's easy to get at right down in here. Might as well. So I want to paint the whole inside of this with KBS. It'll just preserve it. But, uh, yeah. I've got a nice hole to get at. It's different stuff. So, do that first. But, anyway, this is my piece over here. So, had to do a little bit of a bend to it because this has got a bit of a bend in it. You can see. This <clears throat> humps up a little bit, and it isn't quite, right, let's see, one of these, I can, uh, I'll stick it in here. Anyway, that's the idea right there. We'll get that in place, and then I will uh, align the hole with the hole that's already in here. And uh, because that that's where your uh, door handle comes straight up through there. So I'll get my door handle and get it fit in there, and we'll mark it on this after this is welded into place. And... Um, Grill it. All right, that's the progress so far.